Hello, I'm Jim with the Flip Flop Way of Life. And today, uh, we're gonna try to make uh, a Dutch oven apple cobbler. Uh, I got the recipe off the internet. Bought me three cans of apple pie filling. Now they say you need the uh, ones in heavy syrup. Well, I don't have a heavy syrup today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it in water. Add a little bit of water to it. So y'all just hang loose with me. I got the fire getting ready and I got all my ingredients together now. Got me three cans of the apple pie filling. Now, like I said, I couldn't find the heavy syrup, so I'm gonna add one half cup of water and that should give me enough liquid. And there you go, that's, that's the apples mixed up. Let me give you a view of it. That's what the apples look like. Now I'm gonna move these out of the way and get my Dutch oven and get ready for it. It's just an, a regular Dutch oven. These little inserts, the little liners, they're a real help. I get mine from Lodge, cast iron liners. It helps with the cleanup. You just take one of the liners and basically line the pot. And then you pour the apples in. Just spread the apples around. Then the next thing is cake mix. I prefer the white. To me, it just makes a better tasting uh, cobbler. And all you do with it is just make a layer on top using the whole bag. Just try to make an even layer. All I do is try to pat it down a little bit, you know. Just try to make it as even as I can. I'll give you a look at this one. As you can see, it's just a nice even layer. Now what I do is, I'm gonna add some ground cinnamon, because I want to get that cinnamon taste to it. If we all know cinnamon makes apples taste better. And then I use cinnamon sugar because I want that sweetness too
and that's pretty much it then I put the lid on it and then I'll show you the fire when I get back as soon as I get the ch charcoals all ready but all I do is put the lid down keeping the paper to the outside that'll keep any of the right, keep the paper to the inside I'm sorry because you don't want the charcoal to go down inside and that's it and once my coals get ready I'll go ahead hmm, that tastes good <laughs> uh, I'll show you the charcoals and then we'll set this thing up and let it do its cooking it takes 45 minutes just made me a little bit of pile of charcoal and I gotta spread them out because some of these I gotta put on top you kind of want it evened out so what we'll do is you set your Dutch oven like this and then you put like 10 or 12 charcoals up top Then you let it sit for 15 minutes and then you rotate it one third, slide the uh, pot the top back and I'll show you all this. You do that three times and then you're ready to go. So, All right, it's been 15 minutes. Now you got to turn the whole pot a third and then turn the lid back to where it started. Third is the top there. Take the lid Ooh, it's hot. and turn it back to where you started. And you have to wait another 15 minutes. What this does is try to get you an even cooking. So we'll be back in 15 minutes. It's time to turn it one third again. Turn the lid back. So this time I'm going to throw a couple pieces up top. Hopefully, we'll get a good caramel color. Throw a couple extra of the outside layers. We'll see how that turns out in 15 minutes. Y'all hang loose. been 15 minutes now uh, we're going to take it over here and uh, pull the lid off of it and see what it looks like gotta be careful taking the lid off you don't want to uh, spill any of the charcoal inside I'm gonna tell you, I wish we had smell a vision because if it tastes half as good as it smells, this is gonna be a treat tonight. We tasted the cobbler and uh, that thing will make your tongue jump out your mouth and slap you around. It's so good. Throw a little bit of ice cream on top. Man, that thing was awesome. So y'all ought to get you a Dutch oven uh, you can find the recipes online and uh, make you some next time you go camping. It'd be a treat at the campground. Make sure you subscribe if you like our videos and 
make sure you click that uh, bell so you'll be notified next time we have uh, another video put out so i'm gonna go enjoy some more and y'all be good be safe god bless you